Yo, Visanta here. I am the true Geo dude. I main Geo as main DPS. I have Noel, Ningua, Geo MC, and Zhongli built, and those are my pretty much my DPS compared to all the other elements and stuff. And Mihoyo has <laughs> finally dropped a notice to buff Zhongli and a little bit for the Geo. Um, we can go over this, and I'll give you my thoughts on on this stuff. Right, we're gonna start here. Through this, we have discovered your feedback has focused on Zongli's strength in practical combat, the finer points of his ability usage, the geo construct system, and so on. We have decided on an initial round of adjustments. The current adjustments are as follows and cover four aspects enhancing Zongli's talents, optimizing controls and mechanics of his abilities, improving the mechanics of his geo resonance mechanics, and adjusting his shield. We will continue to observe the performance of these adjustments during the upcoming version 1.3 beta test. Adjustments to his passive, Dominance of Earth. Increasing the plan to fall damage, that's the old one, right? Of 33% of max Zongli's max HP. So that will still be in the current effect, right? It's still here. Plan to fall will still increase. But in addition, they'll have... The normal and charge plunging damage will be increased by 1.39% of his max HP. The stone ceiling res resonant and holding damage of the pillar move, the tab E, will be increased by 1.9 of his max HP. Now, adjustment to the Dominus Lapidus holding mode. Right, I'm not going to read the old one, but according to the new one, if the max number of stone sealies had not been reached, it will still create a stone sealie. Create a sh shield of jade. Now that it has scale based on Zongli's max HP, right? And it has 150% physical damage and elemental damage absorption. Of course, it still does geo damage, and this is pretty much the same. But the adjustment will also increase the interruption resistance of the holding emo. So if you're holding the E, you won't get launch as easily, pretty much. Regarding the geo mechanic, elemental mechanics. So this is the adjustments to the geo resonance. So when you have two geos on your in your party, uh, before it, when you get a shield, you get an increased damage, right? Uh, attack damage by 15% and you still have the you have increased resistance to interruption I guess they took that off. I don't see that here So now it will be increasing your shield strength by 15% and in additional if you're pressed by a shield um, Your damage will increase by 15% and dealing damage to enemies will decrease their geo resistance by 20% for 15 seconds now we have geo shield balance adjustments. Geo shields have been adjusted from just only geo damage absorption to a general 150% physical damage and elemental damage absorption. So this will affect Zongli's elemental skill, Noel's elemental skill, and geo shield picked up by the freaking headshot. <laughs> so there they plan to improve um, not just Zongli but everything else. But that's pretty much. It for the adjustments. Uh, we'll go over my thoughts on all this back to the beginning, guys. The Ascension 4 passive talent Dominance of Earth normal charge plunging attack damage increased by 1.39% of max HP, and the pillar does 1.9% more damage of his max HP. So, if we look at the math, assuming that Zongli has like pretty much base of 20k, you do extra 278. Um, he does attack pretty fast, so it does chip away nicely. Um, it's not that much of a buff, though, to be honest. But it's still a buff regardless. And the pillar is 1.9, right? So, extra 380. So right now I do 2k with crit. And then if I add this in, it'll probably be like, what, 2.7 around? It's pretty good. Chips away over time is a more of an overtime thing anyways. So... It's still a buff. It's nice. It could do more. I wish the area of the pillar would like increase slightly, but that's just me. <laughs> now we have the maximum number of stone sealies here. Um, would not reach. It'll create a stone sealie for the hold, right? 
So if you want to do like uh, adjustments to your pillar, you have to do the regular E, unfortunately. You have to do the tap E is what I mean. You have to do the tap E to readjust. Um, so this will only create one if there isn't a max. So let's say you see zero, right? You don't have a pillar, then it'll create it. If you already have one there, it won't do nothing. It will still do this pretty much. But of course the damage will be higher, but it'll still do this. The shield, this thing is nice though. I enjoy this buff here. So now instead of just doing against Geo enemies, there's not that many Geo enemies anyways. So yeah, that's why it was kind of useless. Now, now it's, it's more of a general shield, 50% more pretty much damage absorption. But it has 150, so you just ignore it 100%. And the interrupt, I mean, interruption, you, it, it, the resistance increase. I mean, I, I don't really notice this much because I usually don't hold E in front of the enemy. I usually go somewhere else. Because <laughs> I don't want to take damage. I still take damage. What? But, I mean, it's a nice touch. Now, we got this as a Geo main, Geo dude here. Um, anyone else that main like all Geos, um, there's probably not that much out there. But here we have increased shield strength by 15%. So I don't know what happened to in the increased resistance to interruption. I guess they took that off. <laughs> but this is nice. So if you have a shield, there's maybe much more of a shield play kind of thing. You get increased damage as well. That's still there. But dealing damage will decrease their geo resistance. So pretty much Noel's ult will do 20% more. Um, Ningua's all overall attacks. It's going to buffer even greatly. Because she, she, yeah, it just increases her greatly. Because all attacks do geo. And then geo MC's abilities. Uh, mostly you want to run him with doing um, his skills more than his regular attack anyways. So that's going to pretty much bump geo MC's. And um, no, no wells too, if you're mostly using ult, especially if you have C6. So, or C4, pretty much too. Actually, C6, because then your ult will be out longer. But yeah, it's busting a lot of the Geo. So, this is nice. I'm excited for this part. I mean, and then, then we have this extra things here, um, pretty much applied to above, right? But now it's to Noel's. So, it's, it, yeah, it's buffing all the Geos. Noel is just, Noel and Ningua don't need buffs really, but but yeah, it buffs them. And then GMC, I think GMC is fine too, but that's great. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. The one thing I wish they did was that they take out the limit for the three constructs per party and then make it per character instead. Of course, they have their own limits. Like Zhongli has the Okon do one pillar or two pillar. Ningua can only put one J screen at once. But they do have their limits, but um, it would be nice if if they didn't have that thing. But of course, you can it, it will stop the rotation of the UMC's rocks. Then you have them just sitting there, <laughs> unless of course you summon a fourth rock. But that will increase Zongli's ability greatly because then the pillar, well, you can do freaking pillar bullet like me, and then you just res resonate everything, and and you have a big area effect. So they could have done that instead of. They could have added that, but I don't know. They didn't. They didn't specify that. I guess they didn't want it to sound overpowered because then you have like three, three for GMC, and then you have an ult which is like what seven. <laughs> then you have the two pillars. Um, though the pillars don't resonate with each other. And then you have the uh, Ningua, which is one extra, one extra. But then you have Albedo in there. You can run full Geo team, and then you have another one. Oh my god, yeah. But then that's who will run four four Geos though. Of course, you need the other two for Abyss, Spiral Abyss anyways. So, you need other elements to get rid of their shields. So, most of the time you're not running for, unless you're in an overworld like me. <laughs> but yeah, Spiral Abyss, you're mostly running two geodes anyways. Um, so, it's not, not too much of a difference. But yeah, that's some of my thoughts. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And check out my stream down below. Um, we're going to do... My socials down below as well. Since I do, I'm pretty much streaming a lot of Genshin. You're going to see more Geo gameplay and stuff like that. Let me know what you guys think that, um, in the comments and stuff. And if you like more Geo stuff or Genshin Impact. And maybe even Pokemon. Um, whenever that comes out, comes back. Um, click subscribe and give it a like. And I'll see you guys next time. With that, 
Later days.